Aloha, you too. It's your boy Crypto Roots. And I'm back at it again. One more, one more crypto game for your asses. It's a rough world out there, man. It's rough out there. So, I don't want to bullshit. I don't want to mess around. I don't want to uh, beat around the bush. We're going to get straight to the money. We're going to talk about the money. We're going to talk about cryptocurrency. And today we're going to talk about risk management. Risk management management, and cryptocurrency. Okay? Because a lot of new beginners, they make a mistake by only having one crypto portfolio or just one crypto account. And that's all they do. That's it. And that's not a good strategy to have. I mean, everybody, to each its own, you know? So we're going to talk about risk management. We're going to talk about crypto portfolios. And uh, we're going to talk about which different cryptos you could, should possibly have in those different portfolios. Ooh, so take out your notes. Um, let's start off by just saying... If you need a crypto miner, if you need a form of passive income that you can do yourself, as long as you have a computer, an internet, and power, you can be generating your own form of money, okay? That's it. Nobody can stop you. And depending on what coins you mine, it's completely anonymous. So, it's all about self-sustainability with me. It's all about passive income and decentralized finance, cryptocurrencies, that's the future. It's the the future is now, okay. The future is now, okay. Just to let you know, since this shit's collapsing, the future is here. Whew. Now, let's start off by saying, generally speaking, you want three main crypto portfolios. Three. I'm holding the lighter. Three main crypto portfolios. That's going to be your long term, your mid term. And your short term, you want to write those down, make like columns and shit on your notepad. Your long term portfolio, that's going to be just see it as your crypto savings account, okay? Like your generational crypto savings account. Something we're talking about five years plus. A savings account that you could possibly pass down to your loved ones. So that's the long term portfolio, okay? Now, the long-term portfolio, you're only going to make deposits into it, okay? It's not. It's only there for emergencies, if not, just like, you don't want to touch that long-term portfolio, okay? If shit just goes down, you know what I'm saying, that's the last thing you touch. Now, you want to have your mid-term portfolio. That's anywhere, that's Crypto Malala, uh, anywhere from... I would say one year to up to five years. Your midterm portfolio. Okay? Now, your short term portfolio, you want to have anywhere from literally like one minute up to a year. And now, most people are like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm letting you know, like, that's, that's the, the short term, you know? And that's literally if you buy something on a market and you literally like day trading the next minute you flip it that's that that's the new short-term portfolio okay and when I say up to a year you know um I say up to a year you know that I still see that as short term when it comes to like cryptocurrencies in the long run so short term anywhere from one minute up to a year uh, that you you know you're gonna get rid of in less than a year. Like you know this is this is just a quick thing. Midterm you're holding that for anywhere from one year to up to five years. Okay, and then the long term five years plus. This is generally speaking you can you can kind of manipulate it however you want. But this is just a template for you to kind of um, get a grasp of risk management because you don't want to trade with all that you have. Okay, you don't want to trade with all that you have because you're more than likely going to lose it, most of it, if not all of it. So you want to have the self-discipline to have different crypto accounts for different purposes so that if anything were to happen, you're prepared, you're okay, you got shit to uh, 
fall back on. And forgive any of the chicken noises in the background. I live on a chicken farm, and that's just how it is. I got to deal with it. Some days it's cool. Other days it's hella annoying. But that's just the life of a country Rasta farmer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, okay, so we got the short-term, mid-term, long-term. Now, let me light this up. Generally speaking, uh, you kind of want to have a stream of the income. Like, okay, so you want your short term, your profits that you do make in your short term. You want to send some of that, if not all that, however you want to do it. You want to send that to your your midterm. So whatever you make profitably, you kind of want to split, uh, send most of that to your midterm. So your midterm's even longer now. Okay, you see how that works. Any profits that you make in the midterm with your midterm portfolio, you want to send that to the savings account. Savings account, you're not withdrawing, okay? You're not withdrawing, you're only making deposits. Okay, midterm, you're making deposits and you're withdrawing. Short term, you're making deposits and you're withdrawing, okay? Um, now, what type of cryptos should you have in these midterms, long term, short term portfolio? And this is just my uh, opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. Don't, don't trust me. If you watch my videos, you know I'm, I'm still learning and growing as an individual and as an investor. So I always, always, always recommend you to have Bitcoin. Always have Bitcoin. And I'm, I'm going to get into the reason why. You want to have the majority of the Bitcoin you own in your long-term crypto savings account. The majority of that. Okay? So, for instance, if you got, uh, let's just, if you just say $500 worth of Bitcoin, you're going to put, you're going to put around, uh, th I, would, I would put around $300. Can you turn that speaker off? I would put around uh, uh, $300 into the savings account. If I got $500 worth of Bitcoin, I'm going to put the majority of my Bitcoin in the savings account okay so I, I would then put maybe about a hundred bucks or 125 bucks in the midterm portfolio okay you see where I'm going with this um, and then you're gonna have maybe 50 to 70 dollars in the uh, Bitcoin in the short term so whatever you're working with whether it's a thousand two thousand dollars you want to have the majority of that in your long term you want to have a nice chunk of that in your midterm you want to have a small chunk in your short term okay why we're we using bitcoin in the long term because we're going to, we're using it as a form of gold a digital gold as a reserve so we only want something what we want the thing we think is going to grow the highest value that's the most valuable right now in the longest term with the biggest chunk so you know you already good most people don't even like divide their shit like they only got that but if you know you got a good chunk of in the long term, you ain't stressing so much. And if you know you got a decent chunk in your midterm, you ain't stressing. And you got play money. I see the short term as a bit play money. You know what I'm saying? A little bit. Kind of experiment. Try out a little things. Invest in this and invest in that. And just see where it goes. Okay? But the reason why you want to have Bitcoin in your midterm and in your short term is to buy altcoins. That's what that's what Bitcoin is being used for to buy altcoins when they're cheaper, okay? So that's why you want to have Bitcoin in your midterm, long midterm, and short term to buy other cryptos. Now you're having your Bitcoin in your long term because you're using that as a form of gold reserve, wealth building, generational wealth building, okay? Now I do here now here's where. I, and also, you always, in your USD bank account or, you know, wherever you're watching this, you want to have a cash reserve. Whatever that be, whatever it is you have, you always want to have a cash reserve. Why is that? And I fall into this trap year after year, and I need to stop, and I'm working on it. Why do you want to have a cash reserve? It's because you always want to get Bitcoin or Ethereum Bitcoin at as cheap as possible. And so if the price goes down, you always want to make sure you have enough cash to buy Bitcoin. So what happens is, for I wouldn't say a lot, is that people run out of cash. Even some of the most experienced investors when in crypto, like they run out of cash because they always buy Bitcoin at a, they think is a good price and the price drops cheaper. And they're like, ah, 
All right, let me buy even more. And price just goes down. And before you know it, they run out of cash and they actually lost money because the price of Bitcoin, they thought it was a good deal, just kept dropping lower and lower. So now you're stuck. Now you just kind of wait or you got to hustle to get more bread on the cash. So it, 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 it's, it's, you don't want to necessarily do that. You always still want to have a cash reserve as something like a cushion. Okay. Um, but it does happen where you just like, you know, you know what? It's the best price. It's probably going to bounce up from here and it goes down and then you got to cough up more cash Not because there's a better deal. You know, you don't want to miss out on that opportunity. So we got, uh, we got long-term portfolio, mid-term portfolio, short-term portfolio, and then your bank account or cash reserve where you, you could always buy Bitcoin with us dollars or whatever, you know? Um, and that's kind of how the flow of it will go from your USD to your short-term crypto to your mid-term crypto to your long-term crypto. Um, now, I do recommend to have Ethereum in your long-term account. I do recommend to have Ethereum in your mid-term account. I think, I think the majority, this is my opinion, I think, Phil, the majority of your Ethereum should be in your mid-term account. I do. I think Ethereum's going to make some really, really big moves in these next year to five years that'll be very very get you a nice chunk of bread that you can deposit into the savings account uh do you want to have what i have big uh ethereum in the short term i i wouldn't necessarily have ethereum in the short term um why just because i feel it's more the short term i just feel it's just more play money ethereum is a bit more serious so i would have some erc20 tokens in my short term account what kind of ERC twenty tokens? I don't know, man. We'll have to. I'll have to go through the um, b basic attention token, and uh, the list goes on and on. Power ledger. I want a power ledger still going, man. I'm curious. So, like, I'm not gonna get into the specifics, but I'm gonna give you a generalization of. You do want to have. I would have Ethereum, a chunk of it in my midterm and maybe even a little bit. You know, these are just general. I don't want to get too specific because I don't want people like. Crypto rules, you said this and you said that, and it's like, nah, I'm just trying to give you uh, an overview. Now, I believe in Monero. I believe in Monero. I think Monero is a great short-term, mid-term, and possibly long-term. So, because it's privacy, privacy and anonymous-based, um, uh, completely private, and I just feel it's an overall great investment. Now, I would have Monero in my cash wallet. Your cash wallet, your short-term wallet, that would be your mobile wallet. That would be the money on exchange. I don't necessarily recommend you leave money on exchange, but if you do, just see that all as kind of your short-term portfolio. It doesn't necessarily have to all be in one wallet, but you know the purpose of what this crypto is for. On my exchange, on my wallet, on my desktop wallet, it's just play money. Less than 300 bucks, less than $100, whatever you want to, whatever works your budget. Uh, Monero, I want to use this transaction. So I always want to have Monero ready. You know, I always want to have Monero ready to s spin. Now, Ethereum, I see more as decentralized finance, uh, playing with uh, your, your investing money, such as crypto lending, such as crypto insurance, such as uh, crypto derivatives or synthetics. Uh, the list goes on and on and on. But... Um, so Monero, I, I would use Monero as a, as now especially as transactional money more than I would use want to use Bitcoin or, or Ethereum, um, just because it's anonymous and I feel safer and I can I just that's just what I'm about. So I won't go into much details about what cryptos you you should have, but the top three I would go for is Bitcoin and all of them, Ethereum mostly in your midterm and long term and then Monero however you want to do it Monero I see is more spending money than necessarily saving money and um, especially since I can mine Monero so if I could mine something I could just spend it and I didn't have to invest anything at all besides the time and energy it took to learn how to do it and set it up and that's it you know so you don't want to trade with all that you have or you don't want to just have one thing you want to be able to play around and take risk in cryptocurrency investing and that's where you use your short term now short term anywhere from a few minutes or maybe uh, a few months but 
you're, you're making trades. You're playing around, you're making day trades. The midterms are for the swing trades. A couple times a year, maybe even some people a couple times a month, maybe twice uh, for swing traders. And what a swing trade is, is you're taking advantage of the big ups in the market and the big downs. So you're buying low, lower than usual, 30, 40, 50% discount, and then you're selling high, 40, 50, 100% gains, 300% gains. Okay, so those are the big trades, swing trades, the market swings. Those don't come often, but when they always do come. And the patient, uh, the patient investors are the ones who catch those big swings. They make that chunk of money and they live off that and they put that in their crypto portfolios, okay? So that's swing trading, that's midterm. You're only gonna make a trade maybe once a month, maybe once every few months or a few times a year. Some of the best traders only trade. You make more money in the market by, act you make more money in the market by doing nothing than actively doing something. I'm gonna say that again. You, you make more money by doing nothing than actively doing something. So sometimes just hodling and holding will get you more gains in the long run than always trading, always buying, always selling, always, you know what I'm saying? So that's one strategy. That's one strategy. And the market is a vehicle that transfers wealth from the inpatient to the patient. I'm gonna say that again before this chicken starts going off. The market is a vehicle that transfers wealth from the inpatient to the patient, okay? So it does take some patience in this crypto game, but I can damn near guarantee you on a 90% chance that crypto goes up dramatically and crypto drops dramatically and you can take advantage of those ups and downs. So now the cryptos I, I, I say to look into is Ethereum Classic, Dogecoin, Garlic coin, Monero, obviously Ethereum, and Bitcoin. Those are those are the ones that I feel very calm. And, and I'm I'm getting excited about basic attention token. Basic attention token. So this is not going to be a long video. I want to make this quick, short. You want to have your midterm. You want to have a short term, midterm, long term crypto portfolios. You always want to have cash on the side. Uh, you always want to make deposits in your long term crypto portfolio. And you want to have the majority of your holdings there. So you have a better state of mind. You feel safer and more comfortable. No matter where the market goes, you know you're comfortable and you have a strategy for that. Hit me up for the mentorship. Check out my courses. If you want a crypto miner, if you just want to learn and be a crypto consultant, this is the time now more than ever. And I got your back. Holla at your boy. Email me, crypto roots at Proton Mail. And uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, your crypto portfolios, uh, cryptos you invested in, and uh, much love. Aloha. Take care.